So yes, SEA, that was very exciting all over and done with. And of it course, was. congratulations to Fnatic who made it through the end of it all. Anyway, game two, OG versus Penta, it has begun. So we'll get you straight in to the draft. There we have it, and wow, well, lo look and at behold, that. Look at the they bounties, man. Them. Yeah. yeah, I think I it, think you got it. You got it after that. After that game one performance from Penta, you got to force them to do something different. It's it's one of their most played heroes too. That he when he does play it, he they have a pretty dominant. Uh, run with it, and then usually does get banned out in the following drafts when, after he plays it, so. We see that we saw them, I think, playing versus like King Wing and Final Tribe in the, yeah. I think, DSC qualifiers, and yeah, they picked the first two, Bounty Tinker, and then Bounty started getting banned a bunch of those games. So, that is their bread and butter. Let's see if they've got anything else up their sleeves. 1-0 versus OG. Great start for them. The Bane Ban. Bane Ban, so change up. So what are they trying, they're trying to get a trade here. They're trying to get the Tiny, I think, but now. Tiny. Rubik was banned last time. They, it was. They really love Rubik. OG, I think Rubik, Elder Titan. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't pick Earth Spirit again. I think Jarex had a very good game, so. They want to get Earth Spirit for Jarex. Do it. And the opening two, but. Ten seconds I guess, yeah, for the first solo pick, you're looking for, for solo a little pick, bit. Yeah. You're not looking for the, You're looking for something a bit bigger Five with that. I think Rubik or ET. Just yeah. based off the reason the past performances. Rubik, as you said. Rubik's been one of those big picks for these, uh, for more of the EU teams, just as that first pick. And was what, as you mentioned, what well, banned out last time by Penta. So yep. evidently they are scared of it, but they have had to let it through we this did time have a, the way that they're banned. We did have a side swap, so okay. it is going to be OG on Radiant. Get that higher. Ten seconds remaining. So Rubik. So Penta, last Five time they went with the Tinker Bounty. They can't do that this time. What's left in the pool? What do they go for instead? Uh, there's a Razor left if they want to go for it. Razor Clock. Razor Tusk. Let's see if they do that. Yeah, and they raise a player. They I mean, the yeah. Task. Surely everyone's a razor player. If it's there, the temptations are always going to be down to take it. Tusk, many of us sort of strong heroes left in. And the Sand Kings, the Disruptors. You don't want to give good spells. I don't think the Sand Kings are a good pick oh. for this Rubik. Yeah. But the, um, yeah, those other two are fine. Whichever one they want to go for. What else do we have? Is like some good fives with one of this push. Yeah, disruptors, popular moment. Witch Doctor, of course, very popular. I still imagine it is a razor. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Going into the bonus time here. Maybe they do want. Maybe they want to save their cores. That's true. Razor or Witch Doctor? Those, those look. Those sound pretty solid to me. Razor, Witch Doctor, or Disruptor. Yeah, those three. Oh, all the AA again. Okay. All right, they want to run it again. So save their cores, and yeah, they want to run it again. I mean, they just won with it. I mean, I wonder if that AA has been picked again. If uh, Penta are simply going to think about getting the void again. I mean, mm -hmm. it, you know, it was it, Oliver had a good void game. There was uh, there was the one missed chrono. Miss chrono, but other than that, he, he got had a game. Gr yeah, great farm. He had game winning chronos after that, and There's it is the, the ET. ET. Yeah, all so right. they do just take the Rubik ET for OG. That is their this is their bread and butter is what they've been winning with quite a lot recently. Now that ET as well might make Penta have sort of second thoughts about if they really want to do the the void because Elder Titan can be quite a nuisance. Very easy to just bam disable everything. And it's just disabling the void. It, 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 almost impossible for him to go for any sort of play before he has BKB if he doesn't catch the Elder Titan in the in the chrono because you have to play weird. You have to like run. Yeah, you have to like run out of your chrono and come back in because the ET stop is like almost yeah. the same size as the chrono. It's not quite there, but it's it's pretty large. Covers the whole middle area of it if it is. So, Puck gets banned out. Do you think maybe you still take out the Tinker Dying after that? I guess you do take, I guess uh, they take out the Void. void. I like that. So, so I think Penta would have loved to do it. If the AA, AA Void, it did have a good impact last game and uh, has every reason to do so again. What did they just, what did they just ban all of that, right? They just banned Void, Tinker, and Bounty after that last game. I mean, it worked, so it worked for Penta, you know, getting those. I think Penta will probably, I don't see why they wouldn't want to just take Beastmaster again. As yeah, the beast was pretty solid. Seemed pretty safe, but uh, you know. Oh, okay, I like the life stealer ban actually. Versus uh, life stealer is actually one of the best heroes okay, versus other type. We just run at him. You just run at him. You and pop rage. Oh, everything is pretty much negated, and yep. high HP, lots of yeah. damage on him. Et can't run from that. Rubik can't run from that either. Yeah, well, that's very good. Because if you do the, uh, you know, you Ten pop, you pop open wounds and then range, and then if Rubik even turns. Oh, sorry, you pop Rage and then open wounds right away. And if Rubik turns, he can't steal the Rage to run away. ET also just gets chased out by Lifeseer. And they already have a vehicle with the Tusk. And it's, of course, Oliver who goes, you know, that Radiance build, as we see a lot on him, on that Lifestealer. So, Penza, what do they want with this AA? I think, 
I, as you said, the Tinker is still there at the moment. Didn't get banned. Sure, you don't have the bounty. They could do their Beastmaster. Tinker like AA is still very good. Yeah, Tinker or Beastmaster. I, if it worked first time, sure, you're going to have to have a slightly different draft around it. You're not going to have the Void, which was a big part of sort of having the control for those heroes to go to work. But it's still they, they were still played nicely. Are they going to change it? They, they, yeah. they want to get cropped this time for Weehar in the middle lane. Okay, I mean, Quop, hmm. uh, well, I don't know if I'm, I'm a little unsure about that one. I mean, I'm a bit unsure about it. Because, uh, I mean, Rubik's going to be happy, isn't he? Yeah, he'll get Blink most yeah. of the time. Really if I mean, if you're in the, good, in the right position. They've got, they've only got the lift right now. ET Stomp isn't really that a guaranteed versus Quop, of course. Um, I think they want to pressure, though. I think they're going to move, like, what, this Tusk? This is going to be DNZ playing this. Right? So DNZ, yeah, DNZ. Uh, Quop DNZ tusk, tusk in the mid lane. And they're just going to try to put pressure again on that lane. And that's a gyro for OG. Yeah. Uh, gyro, super good with the uh, with the other with time. Yeah. It's like that, that magic combo. Already the gyro's damage output early, but the magic is insane. But having the ET there as well just makes it even greater. Three of like the better pairings is the, the gyro, the SF, and the void. Those are pretty much the three uh, best ones to pair with Elder Titan because it's mixed magical, mixed physical, and then void, of course, with Chrono, the combo. I wonder if we'll see, uh, see any more sort of lockdown from OG being dropped. Because obviously at the moment, it's sort of the, the telekinesis at the moment to catch they, up the cop. But. They still do go for that Beastmaster. I, as like I we said, saying, yep. if it works, why not? And Beastmaster AA, very strong. Even though we didn't really see those two heroes play off each other too much in game one, maybe they will do more so now there's not the Void and such. But the Roar and the Ice Blast can be very good for picking off heroes. Vision's always great. Vision's always just excellent as well. The, both the Vortex plus that Hawk. Can be super, Five super nice. Yeah, and you're gonna have this hero gyro that's it's gonna need a BKB. So if you're Penta, you want that disable through through the magic community and raw. We'll certainly do it. Always gives him a bit of push too. That's that's the beauty of having Beastmasters. Like, oh, we got a team fight one. If he's alive, that passive does put work in you know, on the towers and objectives. If you want to go for Roche, usually goes for those Roche type items. So the solo crest, the book, etc. Oh gee, which one do they want? Do they just go for something standard like that Dragon Knight? I think the Dragon Knight or the uh, the Death Prophet. The Death Prophet. They're, yeah. they're the two that sort of come to mind for OG here. That I, I think I think the Death Prophet would be would be pretty solid for them. Mm -hmm. I think either one's fine. Yeah. That sort of AOE silence is going to be very nice. You know, it suddenly depends to have to be very careful about how they play the Tusk. Can actually the Death Prophet versus AA? Oh, not a, actually, yeah. yeah, not so much. Actually, there. yeah, okay, yeah. The, The A, I mean, but then the A is going to look against a lot of sort of the strong mids you want to play. So it depends how much you're scared about that. But yeah, you you are right. Actually, yeah, the ice blast can can be a bit of a put off for for picking that. They could go what like DK DK or Viper. Yeah, Viper would be a bit of a safe one. This team does like Viper. I said the... Viper. I said Viper in all the other regions, and not one team. But you think OG them. would be a team to go? They picked it. Yeah, they picked it in the past. What about? What about the storm? There's not. There's a roar. There's a snowball. You're dodging that. It could be a pretty free storm game at the moment. Can it getting on top of the AA at the start of the fights? Could be pretty big. Team back. Oh, they'll go for the OD. All right. So one of the ways uh, we do see it drafted a few times against the Beastmaster, yeah, uh, having that roll. save yep. for the for the raw target can be uh, can be very nice. Yep. But uh, at the same time, can be quite vulnerable if they can get on top of him. <laughs> but obviously, uh, a lot of chances once he has the blink dagger. It's very hard to catch that OD. Oh, the self astral and the, the blink out. Oh. The Enigma. The Enigma ban. And out uh, from Penta. That combo, Enigma ET. We saw that ran in SEA, Universe and Pilai die. So now back to OG with their final ban. Still looking to take away Oliver's heroes. Let's look for S4. The S4 Bat Rider. Five seconds remaining. There's a lot of vision for the bat. Could be an option. They picked Centaur a few times. Five vision with vision. They Centaur, Centaur or Brew, I think would be more likely. Oh, is Brew still in? Oh. Yeah. Yes, it is. I think Centaur or Brew are the more OG-esque picks. Yeah, Brew, Brew certainly. For, especially for S4. S4. Yeah. I mean, that was what they had a phase where they're picking S4 Brew every game. Trying to think what Oliver wants to play this game. Yeah, he's, he's had his uh, options sort of limited. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. I mean, up against the Jaro, 
So the Jug's going to be banned, obviously. One of those cores that's uh, very strong against the Gyro, very strong against all this sort of magical that they have for the opening. Opening moves they're going to be making around onto him. He's really limited, actually, on uh, on Oliver. Maybe they, he could do. He wants a Lycan, Lycan Beastmaster for Penta. Oh, that's true. Lycan is still there. I think. I think that's what Lycan, they want. Lycan would not be a bad shout. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, Lycan Beastmaster we've seen in so multiple I think, regions. I think but OG could OG, grab the, what do they if they get do? the brew, that might put the Lycan off. They go with the S4 bat. It is the bat. Good hey, nice. S4 bat. It S4 comes in. Bat, Good that. to see. And the CK, of course, we forgot about. The CK. How do we forget I that? I actually didn't know. Think oh, you didn't would, think it was I wasn't thinking they were going to pick it this game because of how much AoE there already was. But okay. it is Oliver. He loves the CK. And, and they have got, the AA. They've got the AA. They have exactly. the AA. So. so, yes. CK for Oliver. S4, oh. the bat. Some signature heroes coming out here. S4 could suffer. This lane is it. This is a tough lane. CK AA, one but of it's the, the S4 bat. strong lanes. But it is the S4 bat. It's the S4 bat. Oh man, this is, this is a pretty good drive though. It's a lot of burst. It is kind of like a CK solo carry versus OD and Gyro. So I think they have to be pretty fast paced on the side of Penta. Don't predictions. They, Game they one, we saw OG look all right at the start, but then crumble very quickly as uh, the game come to a, a very sudden end. Is it going to happen again? I'm gonna I'm gonna go for OG this time though. I think that uh, CK can actually suffer too much for this, and he's kind of like a solo carry CK. I think this Queen of Pain has to just snowball too hard in this game for them to actually get online. I think OG looked a bit shaky in game one. I don't think I can go with that again. I've got to go with Penta on this. All right, I'm, I'm, let's I'm do it. Let's put it up. CKAA. We'll go different sides on this one. Let's see if Penta can pull it together and get the 2-0. Or if OG could do it. So Fog with the OG, I'll go with the Penta. Let's find out who was left, who was right, ladies and gentlemen. I know, that meme in 2018, what am I doing? What, are you, yeah, what, what am I doing, honestly? What the? <laughs> it's bringing back the dead, you know. I haven't heard someone say that one since Paul. Yeah, Paul oh, Paul. no. Yeah, that's oh, I've gone into red-eye meme gone territory. You've into red-eye territory, um, dude. Be careful, okay. man. Oh. Oh. Do I joke? We love you, Paul. I miss you, Paul. I don't miss you, Paul. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon, Paul. <laughs> He's not watching. He's sleeping. Dude, he's definitely watching. You think he's watching? He usually watches most of us. Yeah. I, I, he might be watching. I don't know. It's middle of the day and he's probably like working or something, isn't he? He's, he's, a, he's a busy man. He's a busy man, Redder. So, OG versus Penta. It's kicking off. And up top, OG. They want to make sure that they, Oliver does not grab their bounty ring as they go fully in on that. So, as you said, well, you think Penta's going to suffer in some of these lanes? Oh, no, I think the lanes could be okay. I think that uh, the mid game and stuff is going to be a big problem. When they're playing versus this, this uh, amount of team fight, like ET Gyro, ET Gyro dominates those mid game fights. I feel like Penta, they have, they have to really snowball with this Queen of Pain. And their building hitters are a bit limited. Their Beastmaster needs a lot of levels. OG is too, but I think through fights they can gain it. We'll see though. I mean, it, 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 can, it can go both ways for sure. This CKAA could really ruin S4. S4 is already trying to pull a wave. This is so important actually for S4. To get this wave right here, yeah, this is this is huge because leaning up top is gonna is just nearly impossible for him. Yeah, he'll get it. Taking a beating, but he'll be okay. Rubik Gyro, old classic. It really is. We'll see Oliver as well, pulling his own creeps. Yeah, just gotta meet it. Just so he doesn't get the way, doesn't get, doesn't get the lane positioning in a bad spot. Jerex gets trapped by the shards. He is very trapped. He's got a TP, but I think he's dead. Oh, one more touch. That's your first Those blood. Shards by DNZ blood. blocks the whole path. He couldn't actually turn around and walk down. <laughs> DNZ's on fire. What should I buy? This guy's bounty was lethal last game. Yeah, great starts the mid there for Penta. Who got the last hit? It was DNZ. Wasn't it was it? DNZ. It yeah. was. Look at him go. Top lane. All right, man, coming in and trying to get a... Oh, he gets the range creep tonight. Very nice. Takes a bit of XP away from Might S4. die. Might die for it, though. He's going to have to use his TP. Yep. He's out. He's fine. TP's to safety up towards that top tower. Back to the, the backup of Oliver, mid lane. Shard not going to catch anyone this time. And the lane is getting shoved in. That top lane. Bottom lane. S4, back up top. I'm going to look in, but as you say, the overall win ready for Penta is there, but they have been able to to get the creep wave back where they wanted it. 
Yeah, yeah, but he's happy. Getting level two on bad is so sure. important. Sure, yeah, he has yeah. firefly potential now if he needs to. Bottom. Boogie. Think of the catch out. I hope he missed all in. And bam. Seems like we see this uh, a lot of times with any sort of gyro lane. As soon as he hits level two, yeah. always go for the kill. With a homing missile, rocket barrage, plus another disable. Very hard for, for, for many offlaners really to survive that. The missile stun duration is just so absurd. 2.25 yep. at level one, it actually is just so strong. Because the way it used to be is like, if you just walked into it, it like it was pretty useless, but they buffed it so much in top. Oh, running Oliver. down Oliver. Two. Sticky name palms on him. S4 does get affected though by the cold feet, and that will put a stop to him yep. chasing down for more. So no tail. we kept Mid saying. So if they can get him this time, they've got the shards again. DNC and uh, Big Daddy is turning, punching back into We Are. So We Are can't really come in for the damage. So no tail will survive. Quite a beating though. And Boogie's forcing quite a lot down here, though. Even though he did die once, this, you know, that's the job. As we always say, that's the job as the offlaner. You die once or twice, but you need to contest the lane. He's level three. He's got six last hits. He's doing quite all right for himself. Mid lane, though. Look at this CS. This is quite something for No Tail. Yeah, no, -tail's, no Tail's owning this lane. It is. 12 for eight against the four for seven. And that's uh, that's despite having that tusk there. Having a good shot. Sure, he did have... He did have the, uh, the ET there earlier as well, but uh, quite quite the lead for no talents one people. Yeah, that's... Well, 2v2, 2v2. Yeah, slight 2v2. Yeah. ET did go top after, but Boogie now in some uh, in a precarious situation. Nice. Clyde just has to save the lift for a bit. Now he's pulling those creeps. He is pulling those creeps. He's pulling those creeps to his own grave. There is. And top, Armand dies. And Oliver under some heat. Oh, can they get the pattern response? DNC's trying. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, CD DNC will at least find S4. But yeah, S4 getting a double kill. DNC getting slowly but surely punched down by Jarax. Jarax. Oh, he backs off and then goes for the stomp. That's smart. Goes out of vision. Goes for the stomp. He actually DNC got him with did that. not expect it. He didn't expect the stomp to come out. So a three for one exchange in top lane. Oh. Not a great start for Pent Up in that safe lane. CK is getting quite punished. 15-5 last hits, but the Bat Rider getting these kills. Oh. Almost level four. Charge. Shards though. DNZ, he knows the perfect position to block off any of these routes. God damn. As uh yeah, that'll be a pick of one to apply. This, guy, this guy's good. Mid lane, we are. Look towards Jack. Oh, 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 again! Jax went for oh, it. He's nearly doing these little Q out plays here where we go no around tail? the tree and. Oh, he gets caught into those he shards here. these shards from DNZ. He is controlling the left, right, and center. I mean, the Astral will dodge the cold feet prop, but it doesn't matter as No Tail will still. Oh, sweet. He picked into his own death there. If <laughs> that damage was any more from the stomp. But uh, yeah, these the shards, DNZ. Every single time. That one was the. Uh, what we call the vacuum shards, because they looked like it catch them around the clips and actually pulled No Tail back into it. There used to be the vacuum cogs that people used to talk about, but with the shards now, you can kind of do the same thing if you get it right on top of the unit, uh, the frame. Now, even so, No Tail's still uh, having a great time. Quite far ahead on the uh, CS. 24 for 10 against 11 for 8. Yeah, him and Jaro are having quite a free farm time. CK starting to catch back up, but S4, level five already on this Bat Rider. He's gotten the one point oh. value, top. Also, S4 getting gone on, Stomp will come out. So they can do it, Jarax coming in to help out S4. Look at the flame break knock back onto Oliver. S4 trying to keep going with the sticky napalms as they force Penta underneath the tower. Jarax punching pretty hard. There will be a stun onto him. S4 flies across. Jarax still alive for now, will fall. But again, OG get the two kills thereafter after as S4 claims the double kill. Just the S4 bat, man. Putting, they're putting so much pressure Dallas, in that top lane. And the other thing is too is Penta, they're bringing the two Dallas heroes mid. DNZ, he did get a couple successful ones. He's three and one, but it's not really helping Weeha. Level four. OD is level six. Bottom lane. Boogie is dead again. You oh remind my. me of my old boss. Rotten hell. Eight for five. Yeah, the, the, the mid lane. Oliver's oh. 
Uh, and we are. Oh, no. He left the mid lane, went back to base, TP to top, and now that flame break tick down is going to get him another death for the Weeha Quap. It's, and it's Oliver, not going great for Wee. Oliver ditched bottom, but they might be able to find Rezo with this rotation. It's going to be pretty unexpected. Snowball. Let's get the cooldown down. out. They'll drag him back. Have they got enough damage? They should, and they will. They'll bring down Rezo. No tail comes in with a TP. He'll be able to clean up one. He's got a double damage rune as well on this OD. Is no tail will get two kills out of that attempt from Penta to claim Rezo's life, which they do succeed with, but costing their own carry and such, and giving more to Notel, who already was having such a fantastic time in the mid lane. Look at uh, how he, he also gets the kills bottom, and look, he doesn't stay there, he doesn't tax the lane. He knows Jaro needs to go back down there to get that farm. He's gonna go back to the mid lane. Remember, watch this, guys. Don't tax your carry's lane. Weehaw gets stomped. Level five to Notel's level seven. They do have the sanities, and he has already got 11 in stolen. Can he do the maps? Oh, he doesn't need it. I grab indeed from Fly. Honestly, this is... Weeha is He is suffering, suffering so hard right now. He is having a, a terrible time. He really is. They are bullying him. And, uh, yeah, no tell. Just absolutely ended up owning this mid lane. So it's going to be very tough for the Quap to come back into as uh, we can see the three highest net worth heroes all on the side of OG. Yeah, top. That's four getting gone on again. It's uh, pretty big though. How's the drums? The drums already, huh? Wow. As he's out of there. In fact, he's going to let's get back in. Telekinesis is on to Oliver. They knock him back. He's falling low. Will tick down and die. S4 does pay with his life. Penta with the roar from Buki. Do Fly get two. at least one trade. And yeah, with the vision out for the Shards, they know where Fly is. They will manage to get both of them. So they do punish OG for that. But again, they are losing their CK. Their CK and their Quap just keep dying. This, these two are not able to get back into the game. They need to get kills to come back. And look at that. Oliver, he's going bottom. He wants to try to go for resolution again here. Oh. Erex gets the stomp. They've got the cooldown. I mean, we are will be able to blink out. And the homing missile going his way. I mean, it's just more and more time where Weeha is being bullied away from any sort of farm, any sort of creep wave. As uh, he does still just sit on the bottle and two nulls at nine minutes in. It almost feels like Oliver doesn't have a place to be in this game now as the CK. Doesn't want to go top because that bat rider just doesn't let him farm at all. He instantly just goes on him. Mid lane, he doesn't want to go near an OD. Bottom, this is a place where he wants to get kills, but farming here is very risky because they can make quick rotations. And they are, they're smoked. Dyer's top tower is under attack. They're positioning themselves. Radiant's bottom tower Oliver's going to farm the neutral attack. camp. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. They've got him, they've had him, they've found him, and they've taken him. Another death! For one of the cores of Penta. Mid, no tail. Getting snowballed, but he's still pretty healthy. He's here. got sanities. Yeah. So uh, he, he can get kills out of this. If he wants to drop the sanities, he's going to. He's He'll take it. It's a support, but it's uh, DNZ. And if anything, DNZ is probably playing the best at the moment on Penta. So he's worth the sanities. We'll cut him down. 5k lead now for OG. This one. Looking to be a much more of a solid start. Sure, last game, OG looked, uh, they, were, they were fine at the beginning, but this is looking to be a clear out class, as you can see. 5k advantage, yeah. The three cores as well, just the farm. It, Holy moly. It's just not there at all on Pentas. Pentas heroes. No, and Weehaas just absolutely struggling to do anything in the lanes. He just comes in, shadow strikes. Oh. All of OG's already here. And Oliver is in trouble. It will put the Phantasm, does get the Ectron out, but... Uh, it dies Straight away, it. it does. It dies to one hit from Notel. Does get roared. They'll jump in. They're looking it's for the big. kill on Notel. They get the Sonic Wave. They get the kill. Big pick off there for Penta to find. S4 is playing around with Boogie. There's three stacks of Napalm. Four. Boogie gets zapped down by a Fade Bolt. Rezo's coming to the mid lane as well. He's going to force back the rest of Penta. Who got the last hit on the kill on Notel? It was Weeha. That's a big kill for that is. back in. It's, it's a decent chunk of gold there for Weeha. They still need that to happen a couple more times, though. He's still super far behind. Level 6. OD is level 9 still, even after all of that. And now, OG, they're turning this into a push. How's our levels doing? So AA did get six. Uh, Tusk is still level five on the side of OG. Both supports are six. I mean, actually, Jarex is almost level eight. Dyer's middle tower is under Dyer's attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. That drums out finish here for Jara. We are down on the bottom, just trying to find any sort of space that he can. It's S4 bat, though. Look at this guy is seven, two, seven, two, and one. He's almost got the. I, mean, I told you in the draft, you can S4 bat. Oh, RMN. It's always going to be magical. And, uh, See ya. Listen, no 
Watch out. Takes some Mint on the way up. Punches him down. 7k lead. Or OG. And without any sort of void or such, it's very hard for Pence to find those big team fights like they did in game one to to suddenly kill the entire lineup of OG. I mean, when, you're, when your safe lane carry is jungling and he's a CK, you know you're in big trouble here. He's just hitting neutral camps right now. He, like I was saying, he doesn't have a place that he can be in this game right now. They need to kind of just get him back through some big kills, but they have to wait for their quap ulti. 30 seconds till that's online. And here comes the smoke from Penta. They the want roar. to try and find something. With the roar, if they can catch No-Tail out of position, they should be able to have enough burst. Roar and Ice Blast plus these heroes. Yeah, unless there's like an OD with the Astral to save him. But of course, if it's No-Tail being the one gone on, there's no saving No-Tail from yep. the rest of the team. So very OG. likely to fall. If, if they can find him, they'll throw the Ice Blast down. OG's won't find this. him. They'll cut the tree, which they found the kill with the roar. Have they got the control with the stun follow-up? They do indeed. They take down No-Tail. Stomp and Splitter comes through for drugs. Not going to connect onto anyone. They do find DNC, though. So Tusk will fall. S4 with the newly picked up Blink able to close the gap onto Boogie. Drags back the Beastmaster as OG will claim a double kill for resolution. So still, even when Penta are able to find a big kill, it costs them. They do have to utilize the majority of their ultimates as OG still in the lead here with these sort of trades. And it's just a kill. It's not a kill into a tower or anything It's no like objective. That. So OG, they will get two kills and they will be able to turn this one into something. Yeah. Penta, they are looking to respond though. Tusk is moving down. Queen of Pain still in the back lines. Weeha has the ulti at the ready with Arcane Rune. And they have Ice Blast. If they can hit combo, I mean, those two... He hit three. He does. Have they got enough damage? They'll turn towards Fly. Fly certainly the easier kill. S4 just a little too far away and resolution a little too speedy. So the rest are out of that. Pens are trying their best, but yeah, still yet to find the big kill. Yeah. Without any sort of uh, cost to their own lives. Yeah, they've got no till three times in this game. I'm actually surprised Noto, I guess Noto just really wants to just rush that blink. I thought he might go for that like treads or just four staff type of build, but he can just blink out of like any type of these situations if he gets the astral off and his farm is still just fine. S4, S4 oh. <laughs> he wanted that bounty ring. And uh, he won't get the Brune. He wants the NZ though. He may indeed get the Tusk, there's four stacks on him. Uh-oh, and Rezo's coming in now uh, too. Oh, the actual stolen shards there from Fly blocking off the Tusk. He will snowball himself across them, but six sticky napalm stacks upon him. He's slowed down way too much. Boogie has caught up with the homing missile and the spirit follow-up, but the rest of OG can't dive that deep, he's, so Boogie will be fine. He's way too deep. Yeah. Top tower OG still has gotten this bottom tower, though, from that rotation that Radiant they made. And up top, Penta. They are trying to get top. They've got the drum being delivered on Oliver. Weeha still top tower quite behind. He's top net worth of his team, but behind all three cores of OG. Die, I'll scan you. Top down. Looking for Rezo. Boogie can't quite close the gap to, to get the roar off to set him up for that ice blast though. Gets hit by the second missile of the cooldown, which yeah. is that you know increased slow duration. It's at 60% or impact of the slow. He's got the hawk scouting out. Rezo and Jerex. Top. They're actually looking for no-tail here. He is alone and there's an AA with Quap. Trying get to get man up. He will time the Astral so he doesn't get hit by the cold feet. Four seconds until A blast. RMN wants this. He's still playing around with No-Tail. Ice Blast. Let's connect, but not enough damage to bring down No-Tail. No-Tail will be able to get himself out of there. As, I mean, we are still around, but I guess we are didn't want to go back in for that. Bottom lane. Bat jumps in. Has the lasso onto Boogie. Boogie will fall. 22-11 now as OG double the kills of Penta. And still, yeah, their three cores continue to farm at a, a rate that Pentas are struggling to keep up with. Oliver used Phantasm to farm here and gets a couple creeps with it, but then gets pushed away from the OG rotation. OG, they will continue to try to get this bottom tower, but Penta, they have threatened mid a bit with the NC's rotation. OG will finally be able to claim this one, though. Tower down and moving up for more OG. Nezo feeling confident, holding his ground, has the force now now done, so it doesn't have to worry about being sharp, locked up, or uh, worry about that cold feet procking in, as he'll always be able to get himself out of out of the range of it all. Dyer's 
Dyer's middle tower just feel like Penta, they have such a hard time actually taking head-on fights versus OG. I think they just have to play the split push game entirely at this point. Just push out the lanes, try to catch people when they're uh, isolated and outnumber them. I think head-on fights, there's little to no way that they can take it. No tell with the blink, you said. Rezo, they are looking to out, they are looking to go for them here mid. And will force himself back, creating the distance. They'll turn with the cooldown. Fly will be safe for now by No Tail with the Astral. Fly still alive. Sanities comes down, brings three of them very low. Does take down DNZ. S4 jumps up to the high ground. Fly actually still alive for now on the side. The axe is flying, but it's not enough to kill off Fly. They've got the stomp, the Earth Spray, the homing missile onto Oliver. Penta they lose to No Tail with the double kill. Nobody dying on OG's side. They didn't even get Fly. They kept him alive, the team. That save there from No Tail with that Astral, allowing time for the rest of OG to come in. And with the setup, once again, Jarax with these stomps, helping them find kill after kill. 10k advantage, huh? 10k experience as well. I think we're we're seeing, you know, obviously Penta were very strong with with this Bounty Tinker sort of comfort draft. But when you sort of push them out of that Dyer's comfort zone, tower. I really think the drafting from OG has proven to be on point here in game two. As you, you saw sort of maybe, maybe even the, the, the side of Penta forced the point with that last pick. This yeah. CK it was more not really what's good here, but more of a what can Oliver play. I and, think it and was, he was, like a, he was heavily limited with the bands that had come out. I think it was like already kind of like a desperate. Yeah, like yeah. you said, he. I think they, they took his gyrocopter. They banned out his other two main heroes. Bottom, Jarex. They're looking for a pick here. Onto Boogie. Batrider has boots to travel. And he's in. Last hit. Secured by S4. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Now they're pushing bottom. Where's it? Still got a bit of time left on that DD. They just need more time on Penta to get farmed up, but even as the game goes later and later, OG's draft gets stronger and stronger. Penta has a single core CK, and Weeha being so shut down, he's not really scaling so much. DNZ just gets jumped on by S4, drags in the Tusk. RMN getting knocked back by the Flame Break into the cooldown. RMN will fall the Telekinesis into the homing missile. Weeha will be fine as he's able to blink away, but again... OG's oh, so bloodthirsty this game, just going past the towers. With these blink daggers, they just close the gap each and every time. Yeah. Penta, I mean, Oliver, he's, he's just still trying to recover, going for the armlet next. But his all three cores just absolutely poor. Radiant are scanning. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Jarex mid. They're eyeing him up. He's BD though. Penta Only just think they, they can't group up <laughs> versus this OG lineup. It's way too difficult. And OG is they're very fast paced draft. They don't really they're not really so reliant on their ultis, especially when they have this type of advantage. S4, his lasso's pretty much back up. So they can look to go time with that again. Everything else is at the ready as well. Do I have the Shadow Blade now on Boogie? Maybe they can try to look for some type of play here, getting a big pick off. But like we were saying, they can't take a head-on engagement. They have to just go for the picks. Have to be outnumbering them. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And at the moment, just uh, Jarex on his own. The rest of OG have actually smoked up as four. They've got a stolen Ice Blast too. DNZ will be spotted out first by Rezo as they go in onto the touch. DNZ. Just buys himself some time with the snowball, the cooldown, the right clicks from No Tail are there as they claim DNZ bottom lane. S4 already closing the gap onto Boogie's Beastmaster. Does have that Shadow Blade, they do not have detection as it seems, but it doesn't matter as he ticks down to the flame break from S4 with those sticky napalm stacks built up upon him. Two kills yet again for OG. Instantly go top. They are ready to find more Weeha. I think he realizes, or does he, Weeha? He's actually going to turn with the Ice Blast bursting down S4, but the, the Astral from and Motel. Own. Okay, he sticks up. Oh, the Stolen, the stolen Sonny wave. wave from Fly. Rubbing soul into the wounds. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. This game is getting... From bad to worse. Really on. is for Penta. Oliver. For a Phantasm play. He's got Rezo alone. And he's, he's got, got it. All right. Oliver, Oliver they, could, they could get more out of this. Oh, no tails here, though. Drops the sanities. Oliver, 
Still alive. Defensive Astros there, though. Oliver turns with the stun. Held back by the telekinesis. Oliver with the armlet plays. Can he get out of this one? Uh, armlet toggling. Can he do it? There's a blink on no tail. Oh. oh okay, I don't think he can armlet toggle that one. Astros in, Astros out. He's down. No tail, though. Gets roared. And uh, find one. Now look towards Fly Fly with a stolen Chaos Spot. Will finish off DNC, but loses his life for it. The best trade the Pentas found so far. Still, they they themselves, they lose heroes, but they did actually manage to kill Nota. They managed to kill Rezo. That that play by Oliver and Rezo. Yeah. Just just isolates him. S4, and though. S4. That's a, that's a, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, that's, that's a lot of hate. We did. Jerax just wanted to slam down the ult. We hot. It had been a while since he used it, right? He just, he just really wanted to use it again. Happens. That's good, good play there. But yeah, Oliver getting them, getting himself back in the game a little bit. But they do get ran down and lose several heroes. But he's gonna be going toward that Echo Saber build next. And like we see, if he can actually grab Rezo in the fights, if Rezo's alone, it's easy kills for Oliver. It really is. He gets on top of him, and yeah, the CK damage is still quite significant. It's Rezo nearly having the Sanjin Yasha complete. Well, then we are. I'm going to play around a little bit with Rezo, but worried about what may be behind him. And indeed, there was a movement from OG heading up to top. They are looking for Weeha. So if he can get him off the back of the homing missile, Weeha. That's one more blink to, to create the distance. How deep does No-Tail want to go? He's eyeing it. He is going to move in. Stomp, not going to connect in time. Weeha just able to get out with the blink. Will be fine. Fly blinks forward, seeing if he can grab RMM, but RMM already up to the high ground. We'll be okay. Meanwhile, Boogie. They get another getting one. Getting the kill on S4 with Oliver. Moving around, catching him out. Boogie's, Boogie's top net worth of his team. He's almost got a BKB finished up on this Beastmaster. Could Penta do it? They're down 35 to 15. 10k lead for OG. It's still, it's still super hard. It is. Jumping from Fly. Snowball will come through, but the cooldown's there for the return players. DNZ and RMN just melt. Oliver will drag in No-Tail. Gets a good long stun here. there. Had the Phantasm, but the Earth Spinner comes out. Oliver gets bursted down. We are went in with the Sonic Wave, but it wasn't quite enough to kill off No-Tail. And the team of OG is OG stands strong and will be able to finish off this Tier 2 tower. And that is now the CK down. And of course, that Phantasm put on that very long cooldown for two minutes. Everyone on the side of OG just a bit too big for Penta there. OD just too tanky to get bursted, and everybody else just with the follow-up. Man, playing with OD is actually so nice. Does that Essence Aura? I've been seeing it like in every single one of these fights. It's like People are low on mana, they get a proc, they're back in the fight, and constantly just keep fighting, especially S4. Oh yeah, for the bats. Span, <laughs> sticky. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice. And S4 Don't does have an Arcane Rune on himself too. Attack. One of the better runes, one of the best runes for Batrider. Boogie. Boogie. With the Invis. But they found him. Sentry down and prepared for the Beastmaster. OG ready to catch those sort of movements out. And with the cooldown chase, Rezo is looking for DNZ. Does he want to die for oh, Iron He wants to. He wants to die for this one. He's going in deep. Oliver is going to be there. Might be too deep. I think he has gone a little bit too <laughs> deep. And Rezo, Rezo is going to die for that. Uh -oh. oh, that's uh, that's a Rezo throw. That is absolutely a Rezo throw. That, that was that's not your that base. Was, yeah, no, you don't want to be doing that. <laughs> I mean, he just didn't give a hoot there. He went straight in. Well, he was definitely feeling confident. Yeah. But... Space created for the tier two tower. <laughs> Space created for Penta. No, yeah, they, they're still going to be able to get the tier two in. They're still at quite a deficit. But shouldn't be him. Come on, shouldn't be giving those kills. Right? That's a big Come kill. On, Who got the kill for that? Would be Weeha, right? Yeah, six, 633 gold. That's a bit of money for Wee. Yeah, he's almost got Orchid finished up. But he's just still... If he gets pretty much caught in like any disable, he's dead. And that's a full Shiva's guard on No-Tail. So tanking up to deal with that CK minus armor in case he gets, does get focus fire down. And now they can just always know which one that real CK is as much as it's already going to be easy because of Arcane Orb. Bottom, Weeha getting stalked. Dying. Well, he doesn't really want to do anything about Jarrett. Does not have the does not have the burst for that. I mean, 
Yeah, I love for any of the heroes, really. I we mean, are. this Elder Titan's also like one of the tankiest heroes on their team now, too, with that Halberd picked up. 2200 HP. And No Tail seems to I know. He seems to sense something. He knows something. something's up. I mean, if he actually found that, I would have been pretty impressed. <laughs> if he actually just searched around the whole of that tree, but he did it. He searched a little bit. We are, will be fine. Uh, he has a TP scroll. We are. We'll see where he wants to head. I like that Boogie switched from having that BKB in quick buy. Go, I think going for Necrobook is their way back for him at least. In the yeah, game. BKB seemed, seemed a bit strange unless yeah. he did just want to be on the front lines and punching people. But like this, they actually have some some more damage, yeah. which they desperately, desperately need. Oliver. Yeah. Almost has BKB finished up, so they're slowly but certainly trickling some items back in. OG is farming, of course, a bit faster because they have some much stronger map control. And now S4 does have a gem picked up as well on the Batrider. But Weeha constantly cutting bottom wave. So now they might actually put a ward down there or just check the tree lines entirely. Because he just constantly keeps doing that. Yeah, they're starting to ping it now too. Up top top. lane. Boogie. Fly should be. Oh, oh S4's there to save Fly. Fly will slide out of this. They'll turn on to Boogie. Boogie will fall. Fly will live. Weeha trying to TP. The stomp. Is G just in between the two stomps? No, he wasn't. He was just oh, in between both. Oh, no. Poor old Jerax. My bad indeed. Got it. B. DNZ does have blink finished on Tusk. Spotting Jerax here. Jerax. The bunch. Oliver's there as well. They've got the sharp block. Ice blocks. Comes in. He'll try for the echo stomp. Does nice. get it off. Nice blink by Wait, DNZ. Is he going to live? He's, yeah, he's going to live. We are. Went for the blink. Actually goes the wrong way. Shards wow. won't catch him. And now RMN. He's going to be the first one to fall out of this. As they'll. And now we are blinked in. Oh, no. He really wanted to find Jerax, but he. He was not quite so lucky as Jerax is able to walk his way back to base. Very, very tanky, this Elder Titan. Yeah, everything in combination there. The 200 health talent, 15% magic resist, and just that Halberd plus drum. He's so tanky for this team. Actually, I think he still is the tankiest hero on their team. Maybe the Gyro's armor pushes him. Yeah, the Gyro's armor pushes him over a bit, but they will make their way into the pit. DD Rune. That doesn't look like Penta. Won't we'll have the chance to do anything about this. Ow. Ice Blast, oh, it might get the kill on Roche. Nah, it's very hard to do. So that will be Aegis for Reza. Now he can go for those sort of dives that we saw earlier behind tier threes. <laughs> Forty-three to 60. He finds himself some wards, easy D wards with that gem. OG moving as a unit, trying to find a pickoff. Oh, DNZ will be grabbed immediately by the bat. S4 takes no prisoners. They want Weeha. He's pushing out this lane as fast as he possibly can. He's got his Orchid finished. Where's he going to go? They're looking for him. Oh, OG on the hunt. He is getting surrounded. No tells there. As the setup to buy time for the rest of his team to come through. Fly is going to be there with the grab, making sure there's no chance for Weeha to jump out. A slightly unnecessary Sanity's Eclipse, but they don't want to mess around with that, I guess. As uh, No-Tail just drops the hammer. Fly is the same level as No-Tail. Fly has been everywhere in this game on this Rubik. It is, it was 6 4 27. Dude, he's level 20. He's the same level as his cores. <laughs> a very impressive performance. All around overall here for OG in game two is this one. Looks to be pretty impossible for Penta to swing back there without S, uh, without Weeha for 30 seconds. They decided to feed the courier because why not? Did that just walk through them? It, it, someone's feeding it. That was the BKB for Oliver too. It was. That's that was a straight up courier feed. It literally just went into all four of them as the team was quite visibly pushing the tower. <laughs> so uh, yeah, one of that, one of those, one of those games for Penta. Yeah. They've got game free to look They've forward got game to. Free but, um, you know, they, game one, they look great. So They did. they got to switch things up in the draft. I think, as I said, it really felt like OG were able to force Panzer into uh, into sort of that CK finisher, which just has struggled to really do much this game. The opener was just terrifying. Yeah. Rubik, Elder Titan, they didn't pick heroes to kind of punish that. The Queen of Pain, they picked that third. Didn't feel like it, it didn't feel like it actually paid off. He's been struggling so much on this co-op. And OG continuing to knock at the door. S4 has boots to travel, so he's going to push up bottom and probably join his team. I 
Penta. Can't. Oh, Can they really do something to stop this? Weha has now fallen below the Rubik's Network. Fly. He ha I mean, Fly is having a spectacular game, but Weha is, is suffering quite a lot. Oh, nearly being able to pop Rezo once, but not quite. Oh, jumping the snowball out. Steals the snowball. He's got Blink snowball. He wants to go for the saves now on the Rubik as well. Rezo. Back up. They're going to wait for... Her. Farm up a bit more. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. I've had 45 to 16. I just realized how many kills OG. Yeah, they got a lot of kills this game. How's these how are these scores looking? Oh god. Don't look at the scores. Don't look at the scores, guys. Oh uh, we hop. With the stomp. And Perfectly they, timed by Jarrax. They actually are able to kill him with just those two. Still. Dyer's top shrine has fallen. Yeah, we are just had a, he had a really oh, tough start to this game in that lane. It looks like, I don't know, it might not be the day for we are to play Quop. He, had a, he really struggled in the mid lane. Boogie looking for Jarex here with the book, with DNZ. Do they have the damage, the halberd? The evasion is not looking to be enough. Jarex, no. but uh, now no to Here comes the cleanup crew from OG. Take down DNZ. Snowball with the stolen snowball from Fly onto the Beastmaster and take both of them down. There is a gem there, and um, Fly knows it. He'll head over, he'll pick it up. Keep that safe in the hands of his team. Now the buybacks come through. This will leads in with the Yules onto Oliver. Six seconds and the Courier will be back alive, and hopefully uh, for Penta, no one feeds the Courier this time. Yep. He really needs the BKB they, in the fight. He absolutely do. He has to have that BKB, otherwise he has no chance at all. Yeah. He'll at least be able to stand alone with, stand with his hero, but his Phantasm is going to be a different story. Rezo, flacking away off the buildings. They actually pop a smoke to avoid some of the damage and get a, a hopeful decent engagement, but Rax is down. 27k gold advantage, and it just keeps going up, Owen. It does. That number's not going down. You can see on the graph getting sharper and sharper the lead up to the advantage that OG currently have. What items are coming out for OG now? Courier's going to be delivering a BKB as well as is that a, that's a pretty, that's a that's a lotus orb for fly. He can buy the plate mail from the side too. I mean, he's he's still he's matching his course. Look at that hero level. Him, Gyro, and OD all level 22. Yep. And as you said, you know his net worth still above that of the. Oh, he's yeah, he's actually put past all of the cores on the side of Penta now. Yeah, he's he's having a great game flow. I mean, he's involved in 35 of their kills. He's just been cruising around the map. I think you go back Scan to... Scan comes out. Ooh. They actually catch Penta. They are move. moving down here. They, they will jump Jarex. in. Silence. Raw. Defensive Astro is going to be there. The BKBs are out as well. Ice Blast comes in, but the Sanity is a clear drop by No Tail. Penta just mounting as two of them die. Oliver's, Oliver's trying to man fight. Will bring down the S4 bat with him, but it costs him his life. Four dying on Penta. Boogie, the only survivor. As uh, OG will not... We be might, upset about losing S4 for that. We might see the GG in a moment. They blew, they blew Phantasm there. They didn't blow the quad ulti, but the big ones for the defense are definitely down. And OG, oh they just run mid. There's buybacks for Penta, but as you say, the ults, especially with the AA and the CK, they're the ones that they need for these fights to have any sort of chance of getting the kills, and they were expended. OG, oh mind the tier three tower. Still a tier two bottom. I guess maybe that's what Dyer's Penta's hoping on, but they're actually about to have the five bottom net worth in a Dyer's moment. Top barracks are under attack. Bottom lane fly. He's looking to Dyer's go for solo kills attack. here, but Dyer's doesn't have detection barracks. on himself, so won't be able to finish off Boogie, but Dyer's tier three. Amrax up done off the top lane, and OG, so they will, will for the most part, respect the uh, heroes coming back in on Penta. They do manage to get the sharp lock onto Jarex, but Jarex has just picked up a BKB. So he's fine, pops the BKB, turns and punches the Tusk down. He's got the attack speed talent, look at him go. 34k net worth lead. They have now the five, the five top net worths on the side of OG, Let's have a look. five bottom net worths on the side of Penta. Oh, yeah, I good? haven't seen that in ages. Uh, I, yes. Not, not pretty for Penta. Oh, Sonic Wave comes in. Penta, can they get big kills out? As they look towards No-Tail. Chasing him down. No-Tail just turns on to Boogie. The Stomp comes out. They have 
Managed to bring down Jerex very low, but the disarm comes out in time. They turn onto Oliver. Oliver will fall. Weha jumps in. He cannot get No Tail. No Tail will survive for now. RMN, can he find anything with this? The Ice Blast pass oh, over will be dodged no -tail. by No Tail. And GG is cool. They've had enough of this brutality. Penta will finally tap out of this game two, and we will be going to a game three, of course. But that was I. Yeah. I have not seen a team actually have, take the all, have all five net worths over another team in quite a long time. New. This one, it did look it was over, like it was over from quite a long time ago. No tails, no tails. Astral's this game. He saved his teammates numerous times. Can't even can't even remember how many exactly. But the rotations coming around. OG just seemed really on point with all the rotations. It seemed like. Uh, the S4 Batrider in the laning phase dominated everything, and then afterwards, the small rotations from the supports. Yeah, just Penta seemed a bit shaken up in this one. Weeha, gonna have to see him on a different hero this next time. Yes, the quad did not work out too great. Or in a better situation where a quad sure. would fit better, because this one just seemed he got so behind the laning phase, he couldn't really ever catch back up. No, not at all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. So the series is standing at one to one between OG and Penta. Who is going to be able to pull it out of the bag in game three? We will find out after this short ad break here at the Corsair Dream League Season 9. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a few minutes for game three for OG versus Penta.